President Zelensky announced the arrival of the first Abrams battle tanks promised by the United States. Now a total of 31 Abrams. In the ever-evolving landscape of military technology, the prowess of advanced tanks stands as a critical determinant in shaping the outcome of future conflicts. Abrams requires a lot of support. Please. As the United States unveils its state-of-the-art tanks, China keeps making its own developments and surpassing the U.S. in this sector. Besides aviation equipment, China also is displaying its latest light battle tank. <laughs> If China's advancement remains at this pace, it won't be long till the advanced U.S. tanks might find themselves on the brink of yielding to the formidable might of China in a future conflict. Today's episode will cover how the advanced U.S. tanks might give out to China in case of a future conflict. So this binder right here, this contains uh, all the, the information and coordinating details to operate a battalion of Abrams tanks for four days in the future. The Army Science Board's recent assessment, dated August 2023, has sounded a clarion call for a strategic shift in the U.S. Army's armored warfare capabilities, signaling a potential end to the dominance of the iconic M1 Abrams tank on future battlefields, particularly in the anticipated high-end conflicts of the 2040s, with a specific focus on potential confrontations with China. This federally sanctioned independent group of experts advising the Secretary of the Army emphasizes the need for a comprehensive overhaul, calling for the development of new, more adaptable combat vehicles to counter evolving threats. The report categorically states that the M1 Abrams, which has been a cornerstone of U.S. armored forces since its introduction in the 1980s, will not be effective or able to dominate the 2040 battlefield. It cites risks to the M1's advantages in mobility, firepower, and protection, stressing that the upgrades to the existing M1A2, SEP V3 and 4 models will improve effectiveness but fall short of restoring dominance. The term transparency is underscored, referring to the increasing capabilities of adversary intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR systems, making friendly actions more easily detectable. Picture a scenario in 2040 where the battlefield is no longer a playground for traditional heavyweights like the M1 Abrams. According to a comprehensive study by the Army Science Board, the combat-hardened M1 Abrams may struggle to maintain its edge in a high-stakes confrontation, especially with China's watchful eyes on the horizon. The study draws on insights from recent conflicts, including Israel's experience in Lebanon and the genocide on Gaza, the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and developments within China's People's Liberation Army, PLA. Shortcomings. Exposed in these conflicts, particularly vulnerabilities to anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, armed unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and loitering submunitions, are noted. The report emphasizes the growing complexity of future battlefields, expanding across multiple dimensions, modes, and domains of warfare, with battles increasingly involving global inputs and consequences. In pondering the future, a question lingers. Can the M1 Abrams, a giant in military history, adapt and overcome? Or has its time come to pass? In response to these challenges, the Army Science Board proposes the development of one or more types of fifth-generation combat vehicle, or 5GCV, to meet operational demands in the 2040s. The study suggests moving beyond the traditional concept of heavily armored main battle tanks, MBTs, like the M1 Abrams and exploring lighter, more technologically advanced alternatives. The key considerations include the ability to adapt to evolving threats, enhance strategic mobility, and leverage advancements in robotics, artificial intelligence, and electronic warfare. The report highlights that the 2040 battlefield will likely witness increased use of robotics, for combat, intelligence, surveillance, and logistics functions. It underscores the role of artificial intelligence in target location, identification, and platform movement, alongside the integration of cyber attacks, electromagnetic spectrum operations, and longer-range indirect fire systems. 
Furthermore, the study points to the importance of camouflage, cover, concealment, deception, and denial C3D2, on the future battlefield, stressing the need for new technologies to defeat, disrupt, confuse, and spoof enemy sensors. This aligns with the broader trend in military strategies, including experimentation with infrared, signature-reducing coverings, active camouflage concepts, and ground-based electronic warfare capabilities. The report recommends a holistic approach to exploring potential solutions, including active protection against kinetic energy penetrators and shaped charge weapons, robotics to reduce crew size, and exploring energetics chemistry to enable the use of smaller, yet lethal, main guns. The proposed 5GCVs are envisioned to have reduced weight, improved mobility, and advanced defensive capabilities, including active defenses. Notably, the study does not explicitly advocate for specific solutions, but urges the Army to commence testing concepts through live experimentation with test beds. It suggests collaboration with organizations such as the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, and the Department of Energy, DOE, for the development of advanced technologies. One of the key recommendations in the report is the exploration of a new crewed 35 to 40 ton light tank with advanced features, accompanied by a 20 to 30 ton robotic wingman. This envisions a more flexible and adaptable armored force, leveraging both crewed and uncrewed platforms to navigate the complexities of future battlefields. The study also recommends engaging with international partners, specifically mentioning collaboration with France and Germany, which are working on a next-generation tank project. In a mid-October revelation, the anticipation of a fourth-generation tank from China coincided with the U.S. announcement of its own fourth-generation Abrams X tank. However, the veil of secrecy shrouded the Chinese unveiling, with only a cryptic image unveiled by China National Television, leaving both Russian media and Chinese bloggers speculating about the mysterious development. The limited information gleaned from a video on the Chinese National Television website hints at the tank's revolutionary features. Speculation abounds regarding a two-person crew and a network-centric control system, consolidating battlefield data and instantly transmitting crucial information to the crew. Now imagine a battlefield where information flows seamlessly, empowering a two-person crew with unparalleled insights. Will the network-centric control system be the catalyst for a paradigm shift, granting China's tank a decisive edge in the ever-evolving chessboard of modern warfare? The narrative further unfolds with the promise of an advanced data exchange system synergizing with the network-centric tank management. The efficiency gains are expected to revolutionize tank productivity, yet critical details about the tank's engine, transmission, armor, and weaponry remain veiled. The looming question is whether this technological leap will catapult China ahead in land capabilities, ushering in a new era of dominance. The global landscape of fourth-generation tanks unfolds, revealing the competitive race among nations. While Russia struggles with financial constraints in the T-14 Armada project, Japan boasts the Type 10, and South Korea flaunts the K-2 Black Panther. Poland's ambitious plans to acquire 1,000 K-2 tanks add a geopolitical twist. As the world witnesses this arms race, one wonders how these varied contenders will shape the future dynamics of armored warfare. The list expands with eight more fourth-generation tank models in development globally, each at a unique stage of progress. France, with its Leclerc XLR and main ground combat system projects, sets sights on 2035 for deployment. The next-gen Abrams X from the United States awaits testing. Britain evolves the Challenger into version 3, and Germany embraces the Panther KF-51. Turkey and India join the race, each with their unique projects, adding layers to the evolving landscape. In the current arsenal, China boasts the Type 99A and Type 96 tanks, each holding its own against global counterparts. The Type 99A, akin to the American Abrams and German Leopard, stands out as the most advanced in the Chinese People's Liberation Army. With much about how the advanced U.S. tanks might give out to China in case of a future conflict covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.